Children, which will be going into its seventh season this fall, making her very first appearance on tonight's show, Katie Segal. <laughs> Well, you're from here, right? You grew up right around here? Yeah, I was born in Hollywood, actually. Amazing, but I was. That's a rare one, man. It is, yeah. I was born in Hollywood and sort of grew up everywhere around Hollywood. Yeah. Are your folks in show business? That was in my director? father was a director, and uh, actually my mother was a director as well. She was a, a second AD. Oh, okay. So I kind of grew up in the family business. Did you do films or, or TV? Television. Or? Man okay. from Uncle, Dr. Kildare. Man from Uncle? Yeah, it was really cool. Oh, yeah. boy. You met Elias? I did. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got to hang around all this. Did your dad do any films at all? Or all, all TV? Um, he did this really great sci fi movie called The Omega Man. Oh, yeah. 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 Like only, only, only very hip people would know about The Omega yeah. Man. Yeah. You can't get much hipper than this crap. Right. They so want those albinos. But you started out as, what, a singer, right? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, and I, I'm still a singer. Well, I mean, you're still a singer. <laughs> no, I know, but I mean, yeah. you started, yeah, I started out. out of singing, singing waitress, all that kind of thing. Yes, I was a singing waitress. And, uh, well, yes, I was a singing waitress. That's really annoying, isn't it? Do you like it when you go to a restaurant and you're trying to eat and the people are just singing on your food? I know. Uh, well, it was really annoying being on the other end of that as well, you know, and there's sort of slosh. Well, you know, from doing stand-up, haven't you done dinner theater where everybody's oh, you do. eating? <laughs> <laughs> So you're sort of like, yeah, it's a little strange. <laughs> Not good. But at the time, it was a great job, you know. Yeah. It was like, I really, I wasn't really qualified to do much else. What kind of songs were you singing? Was it a guitar thing? Folk thing? Yeah, I was sort of into, uh, well, I play guitar and piano, and at, at that time, I was more into my guitar thing, and uh, all my hair in my face. And Just one really, table to table. Yes, yeah, so actually, I was a terrible waitress. It was my only redeeming fe uh, thing was that I could then sing. And, and That's your point like of view. That. Yeah, maybe. Well, they kissed me well, and it oh. wasn't because of the surface. Oh, I see. Maybe they just yeah. wanted you to go away. Sometimes they do that. Here's 20 bucks thing over well, there. I don't really want to say it. Right. That, that could have been it. So did you get a, wait, uh, a record deal from the waitressing? Did the producer Actually, come in? Actually, I did. Yeah, I was with a band at the time, and um, a friend of mine, uh, who actually I met while waiting on him, he was a rock star, and uh, he, he is a rock star, and he took me to a record company. Wait, no, wait, no, no back up. Just generic <laughs> rock star. Well, like a cool game, rock star. I mean, yeah. is there somebody we would know, but you don't want to say his name? Well, no, I don't mind. It's Gene Simmons. Oh, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Gene. Is he back there? And um, he took uh, this band that I was with to Casablanca Records, and we made a record there. And, uh, and so I just... You, Wait a minute. He's in the restaurant having his Wahamburg <laughs> Ordinaire, whatever it is you need. Yeah. You come over, sing it as food. Right. And he gives you a record time. Well, there were some other steps in between. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Was there, was, there, was there any dating involved? <laughs> no, I just did. Aha. So. Uh -huh. Well, you don't know. No, 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 no. It wasn't uh -huh. like that. You know, I, I mean, it wasn't like that. Just hear people go, you're a really good waitress. How about a record deal? I mean, just now. No, I was I was very um, determined to uh, to uh, I was very career oriented, so I played <laughs> tapes for everybody. You know, anybody I met. At one time, I was a, a sandwich sales girl. You know, I went from office building to oh, office selling. selling sandwiches, and I would bring my little tapes. You know, a lot, and I'd give tapes to people. I mean, I was very uh, obnoxious. Well, you have but, to um, be forceful. Yeah. 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 So I was that. And did that work? Did you get any record deals out of? No, that didn't. But um, uh, <laughs> but I did make a record back then. Right. And you used to sing with, no, this is someone told me, sing with Dylan, is this true, you sang? Yeah, yeah, I sang with Bob Dylan for, for two months. Oh, on the road, back up? No, I didn't even make it to the road. He, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I worked for him for two months, and then he fired me. Oh. I know. But he, uh, oh, but I think that he uh, probably had good reason. I was so um, starstruck. It was like the only film in my life I think I've yeah. ever been just amazed that I was standing there and singing just like a woman with Bob Dylan. That I'm sure I wasn't singing well. And he fired half the band also. Oh, well, so there are so others. I, I wasn't. Mass layoff. Yes. 
Yeah. Wasn't just me. So what, this is all studio work? You say you didn't go on the road with it? No, I didn't. But we rehearsed for two months for this tour we were going to do. Oh, and you got fired right before the tour? Yeah, like a week before the tour. Uh, I know. But then I got some other jobs. So, yeah. you know, it's okay. Okay, so when did the acting thing come in? How, where, where did that go? There's obviously uh, the record career, getting fired left and right, things are going good. How did you make the transition? <laughs> <laughs> you know, how did you make the transition? Well, uh, um, actually, I was... Uh, I was singing at a show at the Music Center here in Los Angeles, and it was a rock opera. I didn't even speak, and, and I was spotted by casting people from CBS. But you and never spoke, and, and you were... I sang the entire time, and they oh. actually asked me to come in and read for a show they were doing with Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, okay. And um, I thought they were sort of kidding, actually, but I got the job, and it started my acting career. Did your dad ever put you in any film? Yes. Yes, he did. When oh. I was about uh, 17, he... I was really uh, determined to sing and he wanted to make sure I had health insurance so he wanted me to be in a union. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody but anyway so so yeah he put me in this movie. What movie? It was <laughs> It was called The Failing of Raymond. It the was a Failing of Raymond. With Dean Stockwell and I played this escapee from a mental institution. Oh, Your dad was a very perceptive man. No, no. <laughs> No, no. Yes. Okay, so we just to catch your daughter as the escapee from the mental institution. And he just, I just had to sit there and they put all this sort of gauze on the lens, you know, and I just looked like this spaced out girl. That was my job. Oh. It's really tough. I think you have to do to get health insurance these days. <laughs> okay, so obviously the big break is, is married with children. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so how did you get that? How did that come about? Um, the producer's wife of Married with Children saw me on the, the Mary Show, which is a series I did oh, with Mary okay. Tyler Moore, and suggested that her husband read me for the part of Peg Bundy. And I got the job. And, and that's what's been the song. Well, apparently so. I'm yeah. sure you heard the applause. Big star, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're very nice. You'll come back and see us again. Okay. Great. Katie, sit down. We're right back right now. Stay tuned for more music with the Smithereens.